There's something Microsoft doesn't want you to know about Power BI, and I'm gonna tell you what it is and why they're hiding it. I'll even pull back the curtain to show you exactly what I think is going on. Like many of you, I recently dove into learning about AI and ChatGPT. Now, what does that have to do with Power BI? With so many new advances in AI every week, I was excited to see what this would mean for data analytics. And with Microsoft's big announcement of Copilot, I couldn't wait to see what was in store for Microsoft products, including Power BI. Since then, I haven't posted a video. What happened? We need to talk. You see, I was genuinely excited about what the power of ChatGPT would mean for Power BI. ChatGPT meant we could have conversations with AI and produce meaningful output. I mean, AI can write code, draft an article, answer questions, create incredible images from just a text prompt. Text to images is amazing. Then there's text to audio, text to video. We even have text to music. I think we were all wondering, is there anything AI can't do? I was so excited about the announcement of Microsoft Copilot bringing the power of generative AI into Microsoft products. Generative, just think about that. Generative means it can create new things. I thought about the impact that would have on our work. I mean, this is a real game changer. I thought about how much time it would save us, how much it would improve our work output. And the Microsoft demos looked amazing. Now I know they were just slick videos and animations and not real screen recordings, but still, the features looked so incredibly valuable. I thought to myself, what would this mean for Power BI? I couldn't wait to see. So what's happened since then? Nothing really. Not much has changed in the world of Power BI. Well, okay, Microsoft announced Fabric. And Fabric looks amazing, it really does. But what about AI in Power BI? We've seen such huge leaps forward with so many different applications leveraging the GPT language model. I've been expecting some mind-blowing new capabilities inside of Power BI. Now, if you saw OpenAI's ChatGPT plugin demo, after I saw that, I started wondering, would we be able to create visuals in Power BI just through a chat interface? Would we be able to change the look of a visual just by telling Power BI what we wanted, instead of having to go through all those menus and change all those settings. And most of all, I was excited to see how Power BI would leverage the GPT language model to produce some truly deep insights into data. So what's the reality? Well, I'm guessing by now, you've seen the Power BI Copilot promo video. If you haven't, I'll leave a link in the description below. Microsoft announces as the next generation of AI in Power BI. Microsoft said we could simply describe visuals and insights you're looking for, and next generation AI will create your report. And when I heard that, I said to myself, wait a minute, isn't that already in Power BI? It is. It's called Q&A, and it was introduced in 2019. The next thing Microsoft talked about in that promo video was this AI feature called Key Influencers. That too is already in Power BI. It was also introduced in 2019. The promo video went on to talk about Summarize. Summarize, smart narratives. That feature was introduced in 2021. Lastly, in that video, Microsoft said, describe what you want and the code is already generated. That's already in Power BI too. It's called Quick Measure Suggestions. And that's been around since 2022. After I saw that video, I said to myself, Will somebody please say something? It reminded me of the old folktale by Hans Christian Andersen called The Emperor's New Clothes, where there was an emperor who loved to spend money on clothes. So one day, a couple of con artists came into town posing as weavers, and they told him they would make him a new suit that was invisible to foolish people. Now, when the weavers finished the suit, they helped him put it on, and then the emperor went in a procession before the entire city. Now, no one dared say anything because they didn't want to be labeled by the emperor as foolish until a young boy spoke up and said, the emperor has no clothes. Good people at Microsoft, we love you, but none of this is new. I mean, can we talk? I don't want this channel to be just a bunch of sterile Power BI tips. I want this to be a place where we can all be real. And if I'm being real, I'm disappointed. 
I feel like I've been misled. I think this has all turned into a big hype war. Every company out there is trying to ride the wave of AI. But guys, let's be honest. I think the truth is, just like the emperor's new clothes, there's nothing new here. There's nothing new in Power BI Copilot. All this hype surrounding all these big announcements. But in reality, it doesn't look like we can expect anything new with AI in Power BI. I'm not only disappointed, I'm kind of mad. Microsoft, why are you trying to pass off old features as new? I mean, come on guys, we already have these features in Power BI. There's nothing new, really. Maybe I'll start a new feature on this channel. We'll call it Feisty Fridays, where we can all air our gripes. Now, I'm not just saying this. I'm gonna show you why I think there's nothing new in Power BI Copilot. You see, a little while ago, I tried using ChatGPT for some basic analytics and, well, it didn't go so well. Now, I don't know about you, but I happen to be a big fan of sports. And when March rolls around, the March Madness excitement is real. Everyone's trying to fill out the perfect bracket. So I thought I'd use ChatGPT to help me fill out my bracket and pick the winner of the NCAA tournament. So here's what I did. I found a CSV file online of all the men's division one college basketball games. I cleaned it up a bit, pointed ChatGPT to it and asked it some basic questions. Let me tell you, it was a major fail. Let me show you. I started by asking ChatGPT, which team had the most wins? ChatGPT said, do. But there were other teams that actually had more wins. Then I asked ChatGPT, which team had the fewest wins? It didn't get that right either. I kept asking it to do simple counts, but it kept getting the answer wrong over and over and over. The bottom line is that ChatGPT was no use at all in helping me pick the winner of the NCAA tournament. I mean, it was really eye-opening how bad ChatGPT is at some basic analytics, especially simple math. So what does this mean for the future? Well, if this is any indication of the GPT language model to do data analytics, we might be in for a long road ahead when it comes to seeing any new AI developments inside of Power BI. What do you think? Have you tried using ChatGPT for data analytics? Leave a comment below and let me know what your experience has been like. And if this video was helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.